the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 209, Jeremiah 24-25 Good Fix Product God, who trained South Judah in Babylon, said that those who were taken captive were the good fig trees. First point, God told Jeremiah of his project to make the people of South Judah into good figs. The people of South Judah were to be taken captive to Babylon due to their sins. But sin in the bigger picture, it was God's project to make them into good figs. Those who were left in South Judah were relieved that they were not taken as captives the first and second rounds. God had sent Daniel and his three friends as the first group, and Ezekiel and the 10,000 skilled workers as the second group, for his project to make them into good figs. In actual fact, those who had already gone were the good figs, and those who were left behind were the bad figs. God had hoped to reset a kingdom of priests through these good figs. Second point, those who did not surrender to Babylon, including King Zedekiah, and those who fled to Egypt, would become like bad figs. God explained who the bad figs were to Jeremiah. Those who were bad figs were Zedekiah and the people who resisted surrendering to Babylon, and also those who ran away to Egypt. They were to receive God's severe punishment. Earlier, God had shown Abraham the promised land and then guided the way. The way God showed them now was Babylon. That is why they were not to go to Egypt. There were indeed people who disobeyed God and went to Egypt. They went as far as to drag Jeremiah with them. God told them to live under the rule of Babylon for 70 years as they trained themselves to become good figs. But there are those who disobeyed and attempted to escape their immediate reality. Third point, South Judah did not listen to the past 23 years of Jeremiah's words given by God. The king and leaders of South Judah did not listen to Jeremiah's words but later did as they pleased. God sent many prophets to South Judah, including Jeremiah, to help them turn from their ways. But they were the ones who refused to listen until the end. Although God tried to turn away from his anger, they behaved so badly that they aroused God's anger all the more. God's reason for punishing them was in order to make them return to him. Fourth point, God declared that he would use his servant, Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon, to judge all nations. The people of South Judah at the time believed that Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon was much more powerful than God. But God clearly pointed out that Nebuchadnezzar was God's tool to punish his people. God furthermore explained that many countries would be taken to Babylon for 70 years as captives. This whole country will become a desolate wasteland, and these nations will serve the king of Babylon 70 years. As God declared in 586 BC, South Judah collapsed and the remaining people in South Judah were dragged as captives to Babylon. Different to the first and second group of captives, the third group were taken in chains and beaten on the way. Fifth point, God declared that he would punish Babylon after 70 years. God told Jeremiah that Babylon would fall in 70 years. 
God's words were fulfilled in 539 BC when Babylon fell in the hands of the Persian Empire. With the death of the Babylon king in the hands of the Persian Empire, the Babylonian Empire came to a close. God explained to Jeremiah that Babylon's role was to help God judge South Judah and its surrounding countries. This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, said to me. Take from my hand this cup filled with the wine of my wrath, and make all the nations to whom I send you drink it. God declared judgment on South Judah, Egypt, Edom, Moab, Ammon, Tyre, and other countries. As such, God governs the universe and manages it with righteousness and justice. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.